Hello, this is Bazer here, and today we are going to be doing another script tutorial. We are going to be learning how to make basic custom commands in script. This will be a very basic tutorial, and I'm just going to show you how to make a slash discord command. So let's go ahead and get into it. We're going to start off where we left off last time, and the same file. In order to start a command, you want to type in command and then type in whatever command you want. So in our case, it would be slash discord. And then you can do it off with a colon. And then you can press enter and then tab. And then every command needs a trigger. So you want to type trigger and then add a colon. Press enter and tab. And then finally, we can start our command. In this example, we are going to be making a clickable link in chat. So we're going to start off by using a send, then put quotes, and then to player. Now in these quotes, you can type whatever you want. In our case, it would be and seven for gray, and then click here to join the discord. So what we want to do is we're going to make it so you can click on the here in chat. So the way we're going to be able to do that is by starting off um, with using these. Then you can type link and then add a colon. Then you can add whatever link you want. So I'm going to use my own website. Okay. And then after that, we're able to isolate this part right here after we add a another set of brackets here and then we type reset now what this is going to do is it's going to make the text between these clickable so we are actually able to do something like and e and n so now it's underlined and we can add and r so it doesn't uh, go after onto the space here and then we can just end this with uh, gray color code here. So now this should be fully functioning. Once we are in our server and we have uploaded our script, we can type slash sk reload and then our file name, which in my case is test. And then there we go. So now when we run the command slash discord, now it brings up our message. So if we click here, it'll bring up the link that we set right here and we can copy it, open it, whatever. And then we can't click the rest of this text because we only defined the here as our clickable text. In the next episode, I will be going over basic variables.